Hello guys, welcome to your afternoon stretch. It's me, Safil. I'll be instructing you today. I am from Uppercut Boxing Studios. We combine traditional boxing along with high-intensity interval training for a great boxing workout. I'm here to share with you the 45 minutes of sweet science of boxing today. I have a great workout plan for you, but before we get into that, let's work on what we need for today's workout. First things first, you're gonna need two water bottles. If you have two dumbbells, one kilo, two kilo, that's great. If you don't have, these are going to be your makeshift weights. Next up, you have a towel to wipe around the workspace around you and also because you're going to have a great sweat. And last but not least, you're going to need a chair for the third segment of this workout. If you don't have a chair, you can also use any form of high elevated platform for the last segment of the workout. It's okay if you don't have the equipment now, don't rush just yet. Right now, we're going to start off with a nice warm-up. But even before we get into that, let me teach you basic boxing techniques. First things first in boxing, we never stand like so. When we stand like this, our body frame is too big. We want to decrease our body frame by simply standing at an angle. Right now, what I'm doing is standing at a 45 degree angle. Because I'm right-handed, my right hand, my right side is towards the back. If you are left-handed, you're just going to follow otherwise. So, everyone else, if you're right-handed, what are you going to do when you're standing at a 45 degree angle? You're going to bend your knees slightly, take your fist, protect your face and your elbows, against your ribs. This is called the boxing stance. I am facing my opponent even though my body is positioned 45 degrees. From here, we're going to go through basic boxing mobility. We never stay stationary in boxing. We are always constantly moving and adjusting our stance. What I'm simply doing right now is shifting my weight towards my front leg and my back leg. This is called the boxing shuffle. And right now at home, I want you to try it. Just get nice and comfortable, get nice and loose. As I'm shifting the weight, the weight goes on the balls of my feet, not the heels of my feet. Nice and light. And from here, let's go through some punches. I have six punches to introduce to you today. The first punch is called the jab. It shifts off from your front shoulder. You're going to extend it all the way out. Twist that hand. Make sure it's nice and twisted. Then you release and bring it back in. So when I say jab, I want you to try. And jab, bump. Jab, bump. Jab, bump. Nice and fast, nice and swift. The next punch is called the cross. Now the cross comes from your right side or the back side of your body. From here, you're going to engage your entire body by firstly twisting your leg. I'm putting all that weight on my back leg's foot. Putting all that weight in there, and from here your hip turns, and then your punch comes forward. So your whole body is shifting forward for this cross. So let's try it together, and cross. And cross. One last one, and cross. Hand is nice and straight. Now the next punch is going to be a horizontal punch. Your punch is going to be 90 degrees with your hand. It's going to start off from your chin. You're going to release it. Bump. It's going to end at face level and it's going to come back in. Release and in. Release and in. This punch is called the front hook. Let's try it now. And front hook. Front hook. One last one. And front hook. Great stuff. Next up is the back hook. Any punch from the back requires you to twist your body forward. So everybody back hook in three, two, one, and back hook. Nice and easy, back hook. Notice how I twist my whole body in. Next up, one last one, and back hook. Bam. The last two punches are where I come from, they are the uppercut. So for the uppercut, you're gonna do two moves in order to pull off the entire punch. The first move is called the drop. When you drop, you're shifting your body weight towards one leg. Right now, your weight is lateral. It's 50%, 50% over here. What you're going to do right now is drop the weight towards one side. Now you've got 70% over here. Sorry, you've got 70% over here. And from here, you're going to release that punch forward. Again, you're going to drop that weight. And from here, release. One more time, drop and release. One last time, you're going to do it on the back side. So just remember to engage your back leg when you throw your back uppercut. From here, we we'll drop the weight and release. One more time, drop that weight and release. One last one, drop that weight and release. Nicely done, guys. We've gone through the six punches in boxing. Let's get into our warm up. First things first, we're going to practice that straight punches. This is your drill jab, cross, squat. Move around. Take your time. It's nice and mobile. Still in the boxing stance. And again, bum, bum, drop. All right, get ready. 
First minute of your warm up, nice and easy, and begin. One, two, drop, move around. When I move, my hands are still near my chin. Again, bum, bum, drop. Nice and easy. Bum, bum, drop. Now, if you're left handed, if your right hand is forward, same thing. Jab, cross, drop. Move around, and again. One, two, drop. Still stable. Get nice and comfortable in your boxing stance. Moving around, nice and easy. Now keep working for another 30 seconds. Start to speed it up. Drop. The main point of your punch is for your straight punches to end when it's twisted. The punch doesn't end like this. It ends when it's twisted and your hand is fully extended. Focus on that for the next 20 seconds. Bum. Moving around. One, two, drop. Move. Bum, bum, drop. Start to speed it up now. Bum, up, drop. Three, two, one, and break. Next one. Let's focus on some high knees to get our warmed up. Knees all the way up and jump. You want to position your hands nice and easy in the middle. Hear that tap. Get a nice pace going. Let's get the heart rate up. Keep it there. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and break. Next up, let's work on the hooks. Same thing, two punches and a squat. Nice and easy, left hook, right hook, and squat. Another one minute of work in three, two, one, and go. Bum, bum, drop it down. Move around, hook, hook, drop. Bum. Notice, when I throw that hook, my shoulder is protecting my chin. As I release it, my shoulder it's making my chin protected, and then the other punch comes out, and then I go down. Keep that in place. Don't try to do this. You're not protecting your chin with your shoulder. 20 seconds. Nice and easy. Good basic warm-up. Make sure your hands are also 90 degrees throughout. So don't try to flat in too much. This is a too much of a close hook. You want it to extend fully as you throw it. Keep it going. And time. All right, next one minute, we're gonna do imaginary skipping. Nice and light on your toes. Let the imaginary rope fall under. Nice and easy. If you can't do one leg at a time like me, I want you to try both legs. If you can, alternate that weight. Now the reason why skipping is such a great warm up in boxing is because we are training our coordination. As boxers, we are always constantly in our feet like this. So when you skip, you're practicing that. Nice and light. Let's go for about 30 more seconds. From here, let's finish this off with nice high knees and skip. In three, two, one, and skip high knees. 10 seconds. Keep it there. Still moving your hands. Imagine a rope coming under. Three, two, and break. All right, last one is your uppercuts. For your uppercuts, something different, we're gonna throw one uppercut, squat, one uppercut, squat. Last one minute of your warm up in three, two, one, and go. One uppercut, squat, one uppercut, squat. Take your time. Now the reason why the squats are added in this movement is because I want you to feel you're using your legs to rise up with the punch. As I throw that uppercut and I go down, when I'm coming back up, I'm using the force of my legs to push the punch up. Don't just use your hands. Engage your entire body for a single punch. Keep it working. Nice and easy. 10 seconds and we're gone. Bam. Last few. 
in three, two, one, and break. All right, get yourself a nice wipe. Next up, you're gonna work on some long combinations. They've only been throwing individual punches. Now let's work on some basic combinations. First combination, nice and easy, three punch. One, two, three. Jab, cross, front hook. When I throw each punch, I'm engaging my hips. So watch my hips from here. Jab, front hip comes forward, cross, back hip comes forward, and from here, front hook, my front hip comes forward again. Get the hips engaged, and go. Bam. Still moving after every punch. One, two, three. If you're at home right now and you're doing this workout, don't neglect the form. So don't throw, and then now you're walking. And again, always in that boxing stance. Moving around with your hands up. Moving around with your body tucked in. And move. In three, two, one. All right, from here, you're gonna just add one more punch. You're gonna go for a jab, cross, hook, hook. Four punches now, all right? Try to fasten it up. Try to speed it up in three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, move. Keep it there. Bum, 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 move. One, two, three, four, move. Bum, 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 bum. Nice and easy, guys, nice and easy. Just started boxing today. We're already down to a four punch combination, just like that. Now you're gonna notice, as I pull out these combinations, in boxing, most of the combinations always start off with alternate hands. You always go left, right, left, right. You never throw five to six punches in the same hand. Following that momentum, I want you to keep the hips moving. Left, right, left, right. Keep it there. In three, two, one, and from here, let's add in another two punches. Jab, cross, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. All six punches that I introduced to you, you're gonna put it into play now in three, two, one, and go. Five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You now every punch has to be released from your chin. In order for you to do that, your hand has to come back to your chin after the punch. I know that's, that's the tricky part, because if you're tired, your hands come down, but you need to release the punch from here. So make it a point. Every punch comes back to the chin. Every punch starts from the chin and returns to the chin. Keep it going, 20 seconds. Last few guys. If you're a bit more experienced, this is that time you wanna speed it up. Six punches. Keep it going. Bum, 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 bum. Hands back, last one. And break. All right, before we're done for this warm up, let me introduce to you what I'm gonna be doing for today's lesson. We're gonna focus on our foot footwork. So there's gonna be a lot of movement with our feet. The basics of footwork in boxing is simple. You always move one foot at a time. What do I mean by that? If I'm moving forward, one leg comes out first, followed by the other. We don't do this in boxing. We don't hop like this. So if I'm moving forward, try it with me. Front foot, back foot. Two small steps, but you're not neglecting your form. So after you end the footwork, your hands, your legs aren't like this or you aren't in a normal walking stance. Still maintaining your boxing movement. Moving forward, front foot, back foot. Moving back, back foot, front foot. Left, left foot, right foot. Moving right, right foot, left foot. We always make our stance bigger and then regular, but we never cross our feet. You'll get into it just a bit. For now, get yourself hydrated, pick up your equipment, and I'll see you guys very soon.
Hi guys, welcome back. We are done with the warm-up and now it's time to train like a boxer. Boxers work for three minutes and they rest for one minute. They work for three minutes and they rest for one minute. Right now, we're going to all be training like a boxer for four rounds straight. Your first round is a three-minute round. The combination starts off very simple. You're going to go for four punches going like this. Jab, cross, front hook, cross. Try it with me right now. Jab, cross, front hook, cross. Four punches, and after you're, done, after you're done with the combination, I want you to move around. Just relax, move around before you fire again. Get ready. First round of your training like a boxer segment in three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, two, move. Nice and fast. My hands are moving all the way out. I'm not going to throw any half punches like this. These are a half punch when it doesn't extend fully. All the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. Just like that. Keep going. One, two, three, two. From here, let's add in some more punches. We're simply going to add to this combination by throwing jab, cross, hook, cross. And from here, we're going to step towards the back. Back foot, front foot, and from here, cross, hook. We're just adding one foot movement, two punches. Try it with me. Jab, cross, hook, cross. Step back, cross, hook. Keep it going. One, two, three, two. Step back, cross, hook. Keep going now. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, bam. Moving around after that. Bam, 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 bam. Notice how I move when I step back. One foot at a time. One, two, three, two. What moves from here is my back foot. Back foot, then my front foot, followed by the punches. Complete either the footwork or the punches before moving to the other. Now keep going. We've got about a minute left in this round. Let's push. Bam, bam. Three, two, one. And from here, let's take it up a notch. Let's add a bit of resistance. Pick up your weights. Same combination. Let's go. One, two, three, two. Two, three. Keep it there. Bam, 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 bam. Bum, bum. My south paws, this one's for you, same thing. You're just starting off with your right, and you're ending with your right. Right, left, right, left, step, back, left, right. Nice and simple. Bum, bum. 20 more seconds. Let's finish this round fast. Keep it going. One, two, three, four. One, two. And time, guys. All right. I said we're going to have a one-minute break, but we're going to work for another 30 seconds more. Let's go for a 30-second break. We're going to go for straight punches for the next 30 seconds. All speed in three, two, one, and start. Nice and fast. Engage your whole body by pedaling your feet as well. Pedal that feet and release. Keep it there. Engaging my feet, not just stationary like this, Use your whole body in three, two, one, and time. Round one complete, guys. Get yourself a little break. Hydrate yourself. We've got three more rounds to complete. Now, we've just step focused on stepping towards the back. Right now, we're going to focus on stepping towards the right. Your first combination for this part of the round is very simple. Jab, cross. Now move towards the right. Now, when you move towards the right, I want you to make a conscious effort to move laterally towards the right. We were moving back earlier on, so focus on changing, the, changing your direction towards the right. Jab, cross, right. Keep it going now in three, two, one. Let's go, round two. One, two, move right. One, two, move right. Nicely done. Bam, bam. When I throw my punches, I release it off by my chin. My shoulders can protect my chin. That's a good punch, and it comes off. One, two. Moving around. One, two. Nice. Bum, bum. These are very simple, basic combinations to explode in for the two punches. Bum, bum. Move right. Bum, bum. Move right. Bum, bum. Nice and easy. 20 seconds on the clock. Let's perfect this combination. All of you all at home, great Friday afternoon. Let's put all this work in. Three, two, one, 
and break. All right, from here, you're going to add in another punch after the footwork. So right now, the combination is like this. Jab, cross, move right. And from here, you're going to throw cross, uppercut on the front, cross. There's three punches. Let's try it together. Jab, cross, move towards the right, cross from your backhand, front uppercut from your front hand, and cross again. So all together, it looks like this. One, two, one, two, three. Get ready in three, two, one, let's go. Bam, 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 bam. Nicely done. One, two, one, two, three. Use your body's momentum. Use your hips flowing. So it should look like this even without the punches. Bam, 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 bam. All the hip work. All the hip work. That's the difference between a good boxer and a great boxer. Let's go. One, two, three. One more time. One, two, three. And break from here. Do you know what we're going to do for that last one minute of the round? <laughs> no drinking of water just yet. We're going to use these water bottles. Same combination. Let's go. One, two, cross, upper, cross. Come back again and restart. Ha. Bum, bum, cross, upper, cross. Good stuff, guys. Don't give up just yet. We're halfway through this segment. Before you know it, we're done. Keep it going, 30 seconds. Bum, bum, bum. One, two. Bum, bum, bum. Keep it there. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Start to speed it up now for the last 10 seconds. Fast as you can. Bum, bum. Ta, ta, ta. All short. Bum, bum, bum. And time, guys. All right, your active rest. Now it's time for your uppercuts. Lean forward, pedaling your feet, and go. Roll those hands. Roll those hands. Nice and fast. 30 seconds of work. Let's go, guys. We're done with two rounds. You got two more to go. Keep it there. Keep it there. Three, two, one. And time for that break. Catch yourself some water. Drink up. Wipe yourself off. We have covered moving towards the back, moving towards the right. We are, two, we are away with two more directions. Moving left and moving forward. Okay, great stuff, guys. Round number three. We're now going to focus on moving towards the left. The combination goes like this. You're going to do four punches before footwork. You're going to start off with our back uppercut. Back uppercut. Front uppercut. Back uppercut. Front hook. And then from here, you move. Sounds complicated? No. It's just three uppercuts and one hook. The uppercuts start from your backhand. So all together, it looks like this. One, two, three. Front hook. Bam. Now footwork time. Move towards the left. When you move towards the left, remember, one foot at a time. Since you're moving to the left, it's the left foot, right foot. It's not like this. All right? Get ready. All together, four punches. Moving to the left in three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, uppercut, move. One more time. One, two, three, hook, move. Keep it there. One, two, three, hook, move. Nice and easy. Bum, 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 move. Focus on consciously stepping your foot towards the left. One, two, three, bum. If you're looking at a mirror, you should see your head moving right out of the way. It's no longer here when you step with your foot. One, two, three, uppercut, move out of the way. One, two, three, uppercut, move out of the way. One last one. One, two, three, uppercut, and move. All right, from here, you're going to add a couple more punches. We're going to add just two punches. Uppercut, 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 hook, step to the left. From here, release, jab, cross. Nice and easy. Again, one, two, three, hook, jab, cross. Get ready for the whole combination now for the next one minute in three. Two, one, and go. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two. Keep it going. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum. One, two, three, four. One, two. Ten seconds of work, guys. Bum, bum. You know what we're going to do next after this? We're going to use the water bottles. We're going to go for one more minute. Same combination. 
but this time I want you to go much faster. Even though there's more weight, you're still gonna go much faster. Get ready now. One minute of work. Round number three. Let's push. One, two, three, four. One, two. Again, one, two, three, four. Step left, one, two. Keep on working, guys, keep on working. Now, the great thing about using your water bottles is that you can check your form really well. Check that your hands are twisted all the way. Your water bottle should be horizontal. Number two, your water bottles should be close to your face. That means your hands are protecting your chin. Otherwise, you have 30 seconds till the end of this round. One, two, three, four. One, two, let's go, guys. Let's bring it home. Two more sets. One, ah. Last one, all together with me. Upper, 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 hook. Bam, bam, and time, guys. All right, your active rest. Straight punch is done, uppercut is done. You know what we're gonna do? Hooks. 30 seconds, and speed. Use your hip, use your hip to engage yourself. Don't just use your shoulders all the way with your hips. Hands back to your chin. 20 seconds. Keep it there. And after this, we just have one more round. Three, two, and time. There you go. Your well-deserved break. 30 seconds. Pop yourself off. Get that water in. Now, we have focused on three different directions. We have focused on moving towards the back. We have moved towards the right. We have moved towards the left. Now, all we have to do is face and charge at our opponent. How are we gonna do this? We're gonna start this combination off very simple. One, two, three, four. Just four straight punches. And then from here, you just step forward. Left foot, right foot. Again, one, two, three, four. Step forward. Nice and simple, guys, for your last round in this segment. In three, two, one, let's go. Bum, 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 bum. Move forward. One, two, three, four. Move forward. Now, Whenever people do this combination, they get very excited. They want to move forward as they punch. Let's focus on just moving forward separately as well as punching separately. So if you want to move faster, try to end your punches faster. Bum, 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 then move forward. Again, bum, 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 move forward. Focus on your hand speed here and go. One, two, three, four, and go. Even if I'm going fast, my hands are still twisting all the way. No half punches here, guys. All the way out and forward. Keep it going. Bump. One, two, three, four. Bump. Southpaw, same thing. Just start with your right. Combination doesn't change. Right, left, right, left, forward. Right, left, right, left. Right foot, left foot. Again, right, left, right, left. Right foot, left foot. Now, from here, we're going to add in another two punches. This is the last round, so let's get a bit creative here. We're going to go four punches. Step forward, and from here, any two punches of your choice. So you can start from the front or from the back. You choose the punches. Four punches, step forward, and any two punches of your choice. Get ready in three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four. Upper, upper. One, two, three, four. Upper, cross. One, two, three, four. Upper, hook. Anything that you want. Let's go freestyle now. Bum, bum. Keep it going. Choose that nice two-punch combination that you like. I like to always start off with my front hand, start off with the uppercut, end it with the cross. You choose what you like. Bam, bam. Keep it going. From here, we just have one more minute. So you know what you're going to do. Same thing. Any two punches you want to end off the combination, a little bit more heavier. Let's go. Keep it there. One, two, three, four. Upper, upper. One, two, three, four. Hook, hook. One, two, three, four. Bump, bump. One, two, three, four. Hook, cross. Different, different variations. Anything that you can throw. You have 30 seconds to get a bit more creative. It's your last part, guys. Let's do it as fast as we can. Last 20 seconds, and go. Bump, 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 bump. Bump, bump. One, two, three, four. Hook, 
cross. One, two, three, four. One, two, last one. One, two, three, four. Bam, bam. And time, guys. Just like that, we are done with segment two. When you come back, make sure you're nice and hydrated. Make sure you have your bench, you have your chair, or any elevated platform with you. You're gonna go for a nice endurance segment when we come back. Hi guys, welcome back. We've completed two rounds, sorry, two segments. We are done with our last segment, your endurance segment. It's gonna be a bit more harder pace, a bit more faster pace, but we're all gonna go through with this. Here I prepared for you an endurance, two rounds of endurance. Each endurance round lasts for three minutes. We're gonna go for six exercises, six body weight exercises. Three of them are gonna involve the stool or the chair. After we do the three minutes complete, we're gonna take a break and go again for the same three minutes of endurance. I'll explain as we go along the way. The first exercise, pick up your water bottles again. You're gonna go for a single squat. A bit further away from your stool, put your leg on the stool. You're gonna go for one small squat. When you come up, one shoulder press. So let's start with this exercise. Each exercise only lasts for 30 seconds. Before you know it, it's over. Get ready in three, two, one, and go. Bam. It's okay, we're only gonna use one leg for this one. Let's keep it on this leg, nice and easy with the shoulder press. Bend all the way down and up. All the way down and up. Keep it going. In three, two, one, just like that. First exercise complete. Second exercise, nice and simple. Burpees in three, two, one, and go. And jump. If you want to add that push up, be my guest. If not, it's fine. Let's just go for high jumps. Again, you're only going for 30 seconds per exercise. Before you know it, it's gonna be complete. Keep it going. In three, two, one, and time. All right, next one. Back on with the stool. You're gonna go for tricep dips. Sit on the stool, walk out, and from here, you're gonna engage your triceps by going down, followed by one kick. Again, tricep down, and kick. Tricep down, kick. Nice and stable. Try to go as low as you can. Bend that tricep 90 degrees and up. In three, two, one, and break. All right, next up from here, we're gonna go for our next exercise. It's gonna be our corkscrew. Push up position. From here, alternate hand out, other leg comes off. Kick it through. One leg comes off, one hand comes off, Kick the other leg through. Again, raise that shoulder up. Kick it all the way out. Keep going. 20 seconds. In three, two, one. All right, guys, fifth exercise. Back in with the stool. And this time, we're gonna sit on the floor. We're gonna put our feet on the stool. And from here, we're gonna go for a glute bridge. You're gonna raise your bum up. Come it down, and from here, one crunch. Glute bridge, crunch. Nice and easy. Engage your legs and your core. Bridge, core. Bridge, core. 
Keep it there in three, two, one, and time, guys. All right, from here, your last exercise, you're gonna work on your crunching core. You're gonna put your hands up on your head, and you're gonna go alternate leg, alternate hand. Nice and easy, 30 seconds. Keep it going. Crunch it all the way down. In three, two, one, and break. Get yourself a nice 30 second break, guys. That was the end of your first set of endurance. We've got one more to go. Take a little breather. So we're gonna repeat the same exercises again. This time, focus more on the form, focus more on the number of reps you can complete. So get ready, guys. Just like that, you're gonna go dive straight into it. In three, two, one, and begin. One leg out, this time use the other leg that you weren't using earlier on. Go all the way down, shoulder press. All the way down, shoulder press. Nice and stable. If you feel uncomfortable and you feel like you might topple over, focus on crunching your core. That's where your stability lies. Crunch it there and up. Nice and stable as you go up. In three, two, one, just like that. Second exercise, burpees in three, two, one, let's go. It's only 30 seconds. How many burpees can you squeeze in? Keep it going. My brave souls out there, add that push up in as well. In three, two, one. Third exercise, we're gonna go for that tricep dip. Rest, take a one second sit, push it out, tricep dip, leg out. Leg out. Just like that, guys. 15 seconds. Nice engagement of your triceps, followed by your feet up. Good stuff. In three, two, one. Next up, you're gonna go for that corkscrew. Push up position, hands up, leg kicks through. Hands up, leg kicks through. Keep it going. Ten seconds. Now, the key to being stable with this is keeping your hands apart and your feet apart. If you feel like you're wobbly, just bring your hands back in closer. I mean, not closer, further apart, and then you give you more stability as you move. Three, two, one. And right from here, you're gonna go for that glute bridge. Position your stool, feet up, nice and comfortable. Up with the glute bridge, come back down. One nice scrunch. Keep it going. Glute bridge, followed by a crunch. Bridge, crunch. Keep it there. In three, two, one and break. Last one, guys. This is your last exercise, that standing ab crunch. Hands up, get ready in three, two, one. Let's go. Last 30 seconds, let's push that pace all the way. This is your last bit of your endurance. 10 seconds. Three, two, and time, guys. Just like that. The hardest rounds are over. Up next, we have a little bit of an ab round. Nothing too complicated. Just our basic abs is gonna bring us all the way through. Get yourself some water. Position yourself nice and easy, butt down on the floor. Like I always like to start, we're gonna go for full sit-ups for the beginning. Get ready. In three, two, one, full sit-ups. Notice that my heels are always planted on the ground. Down and up. Down and up. It's okay if you cannot do as many as you can. Try to focus on the form. Try to focus on crunching your core throughout the spirit. Nice and simple. Keep it there. Focus on your breathing. Three, 
two, one. From here, we're gonna move to our lower core. We're gonna go for nice and simple leg raises. Slip on the floor, leg straight, all the way up, but you barely touch the ground. You barely touch the ground. Keep it going. Slow it down nice and easy. A little break at the top, and you go back in. Three, two, and time. From here, your second last one is for your upper core. You're gonna go for a nice resting sit-up position. And from here, you're simply gonna shift your hands up and down. You're gonna slide your knees to the top of your knee and back down, and go. Notice that my lower back never lifts off the ground. Nice and easy. Keep it there. In three, two, one. And we're gonna end it off like I always do. Like I always do, regular 30 second low plank. Get ready in three, two, one, and go. Nice and easy. All you have to do is rest. Good stuff, guys. Just think about what you're gonna do after class. Nine seconds. We've come this far, guys, we've come this far. No knees on the floor. Three, two, one, and time, guys. Give yourself a round of applause. We are left with that one last round. Now, the last round is my favorite. Here's where we go all out and we empty whatever energy have, we have left in our tank. Give yourself a little wipe. Catch yourself breath. All right, here's how we're gonna go. We're gonna go for speed, flow, and aggression. When I say flow, I just want you to work freestyle, anything that you can. Any punches, it doesn't matter. Just put in what we learned today. When I say speed, I'm gonna give you an exercise and you're gonna go for speed in that exercise. For this very last segment, we're gonna go for something called the aggression. You're gonna go fast and hard on that last 20 seconds of this class. So get ready guys. Speed and flow, finally followed by aggression. Get ready for your flow in three, two, one, and flow. Nice and easy, nothing too fancy. Just any punch that you want. In fact, try to incorporate what we learned today. Try to incorporate the feet movement as well as the punches. The simple combinations that we did today, he has that chance to put it all in. In three, two, one, first speed, straight punches. All the way in three, two, one, and go. All the way. Keep it there. Three, two, one, and flow. Each speed only lasts for five seconds. So you're gonna go all out for that speed. Three, two, one, and speed uppercut. Let's go through, guys. We are in the next class already. Just a bit more work. Three, two, one, back to that flow. Back to that flow. From here, we're gonna go for one last one. Before that aggression, we're gonna go for speed hooks. Get ready in three, two, one, and speed. Fast as you can. Let that hips go through and flow. Three, two, one. One last flow, guys, one last flow. You're gonna bring it home with your speed and your power combined when I say aggression. This is when you know your opponent is giving up and you're gonna knock him down with everything you got in three, Two, one, and aggression. Speed and power, let's go. Three, two, and time, guys. Just like that, we are done with the session today. Before we end, let's go for a nice cool down. We're gonna focus on breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth.
Breathe in and out through your mouth. Great stuff today, guys. Great stuff. We push through. Not an easy workout. Really boosting the stamina here. But we made it. Now our first stretch is in a tabletop position. Knees resting on the ground. You're going to focus on that same breathing. This time, first up with your feet. Your whole body pushing downwards. Push it down and breathe. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Next up, arch your back up. Same breathing, in through your nose, out through your mouth. One more time, arching downwards. And back up. One last stretch for you guys. This is for your core. We you really used it today. Lower body on the floor, upper body face up. Look up and stretch. This is the rewarding part. Great stuff. And from here, here completes another afternoon stretch workout. Thank you very much for joining me. I will see you guys very soon. Stay safe, stay at home, stay positive. Mm -hmm.